channel. My name is Evelyn. In this video guys, I would like to share with you, I'm so excited to share with you, especially for those mom that is so busy in their schedule. Well, guess what? This recipe, that would be perfect for you so that way your family can have the good breakfast every day. But before I begin to show you this recipe, I would like to thank you guys so much for subscribing my channel. I appreciate that so much. And if you are new to my channel, please give us a like, leave us the comment down below, and of course, subscribe. And now let's go start with our ingredients. Alright guys, so now we are going to start cutting our peppers. So I have these peppers, I think they would be enough for um, this recipe. So I'm kind of like slice them into the dice so that way um, it will be easy when you put them all together. I cut this peppers just like this. So just slice them into dice, but if you already have the uh, bell pepper that it's already diced, that would be good too. And you can use it any colors of the bell pepper that you like. I just happen to have the green one, so I'm just going to use this one. If you want to be a colorful of this recipe, you can use red, orange, or yellow. So you can pick any colors that you like, okay? So guys, so we have our bacon. I have a one pack of bacon. I will put the description below of how many, how much bacon that I have so that way, but I'm just gonna show you how I'm going to slice this bacon so that way, that way it will be easy to cook into our pan. Just slice them like this into dice. Kinda like um, do that. If you don't want bacon, Go ahead and don't put bacon, but my family love bacon so much, so I can't have I can't have a burrito without the bacon. And also, if you are vegetarian, then skip all the part of the meat and um, just do all vegetables. If you are a vegetarian, I can suggest you just uh, skip all the meat, okay? And just slice them like this. So this is the part of the preparation for all ingredients in this recipe and then later I'm, I'm going to show you how to cook them and then you put them all together. Alright, so this is how I cut it my bacon. So guys, so here is our sausage. So I have the uh, sausage and I think this is about to be one pound of sausage but you can pick at any sausage you like. You can put more sausage if you like, but I just have this one, so this is what I'm going to use, okay? And of course, guys, here is our egg. We are going to scramble um, five eggs on this recipe. Okay, guys, now we are going to cook our bacon. So basically, my pan is already hot, so I'm just gonna put my bacon okay guys I think our bacon it's done so we are going to transfer this one into our um, bowl and put some paper towel okay so we're gonna transfer our bacon into the paper towel so that way it will be draining and there's no fat that comes to your burrito okay just like this just like a regular one that you can then transfer over but um, I can't find my strainer to be honest with you um, you can use a strainer as well if you don't have paper towel I just happen to have so and okay, now we are going to put our sausage so I'm using the same pan that I use for my bacon so um, I think it will be fine so just kind of like put all our sausage here and um, so I'm going to put the description below 
of how many calories uh, per serving this uh, breakfast burrito so that way you kind of like if you're watching your calories um, you would like to see that so okay it's gonna turn our heat high a little bit So guys, I am just um, so guys, I'm just gonna wait until this sausage would uh, reduce the liquid, and then we're going to put our uh, green bell pepper. Okay, so we're just gonna keep um, mixing it until the liquid will reduce, and I think it's about um, time to. So guys, now it's ready to put our peppers. So we're just gonna put like this. So. I'm not going to put any salt in this recipe because the sausage it's already have salt in it but if you are uh, wanting to put salt um, you can do that just to make sure not um, so much salt but I do like to put some peppers some black peppers so that way um, it will have just have a taste now if I taste this one that I need more salt I can do that but I know that when I make this one many times I did not put any salt because I don't like it that have much uh, salt so the the green bell pepper it's optional if you don't like green bell pepper you can skip that but because I love vegetables and I would like to have a vegetables in every meal I make as possible I have a very picky daughter so I'm always trying to trick trick her to eat some vegetables so that way she can have uh, vegetables sometimes okay and this um, burrito looks good so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit aside this one because I am going to cook our eggs so If you need to put more eggs or cook more eggs, you can do that. Um, I just have four, I um, mean five eggs, and I think um, that that should be enough. If I need more later, then I can just cook right away. It's this this eggs. It's um, very easy to make, so it should not be a problem if I need more later. So just cook. It get hard quickly. And then of course we're gonna put our pepper, black pepper. Remember, I'm not putting any salt because I have the sausage that it's salty already. I mean it's seasoned already and of course I'm gonna put lots of cheese in it so it should just be right amount of salt. So now I think my egg is done. Um, we are going to mix them all together. This is gonna be in just one pan right here. Okay guys, I turn off my heat and we are going to mix them all together in this pan. Like this is the sausage. See that? And then of course, um, here is our bacon. 
just going to mix them all together. Now I turn off my heat already so make sure that you double check there is no heat involved anymore. Oh look at that. They are look so delicious. So yummy. Oh my god. My kids would love this one. Because um they can eat this one while they're driving to go to school. So we're all working. We're all um they're all in school including my husband and um they want to have a breakfast especially in this weather. No one's going to wake up early and make breakfast. So this this um breakfast burrito this is so perfect for the busy schedule. All right, so let's go uh, set this one aside because we are going to cool this one down so that way we can put our cheese and then we're just gonna wrap them later which is I am going to show you okay guys so now we are going to put our um, burrito into our tortilla so this is my tortilla um, you can buy this one in any um, local supermarket so first we're going to put cheese there because we love cheese so and I used a scooper this one so you can um, you can perfectly even all your burritos and then you put one more cheese like I said we love cheese and then you're just gonna roll them like this and that here and then um, you will need um, wax paper and so this way the reason why you need this one so you can put this one into the freezer and you're just gonna roll it like that there you go and you're just gonna keep doing it until you are done cheese scoop your burrito and you put one more cheese a lot of cheese if you like my family is crazy about cheese, so got to have cheese. You can use uh, any cheese that you like. I just have a uh, shredded cheese. And if you have mozzarella cheese, you can do that too. And if you want um, expensive cheese, you can do that. You can totally, totally pick any cheese that you like. So we're just going to uh, repeat this one until it's finished and then I am going to show you how you microwave this one so that way you kind of like um, have an idea of how many minutes but normally it's not going to take long because the purpose of this recipe is you can just have this one at any time while getting ready your coffee okay Hi guys, so here is our breakfast burrito. I transferred their, transfer them to the container because I'm going to put this one into our freezer. Okay guys, so when you microwave your burrito, uh, you should have the paper towel on it so that way it will uh, stay moist your uh, burrito, not like crunchy and hard. So I'm going to try this one and see how delicious this breakfast burrito on the go. Here we go guys, this is our breakfast burrito. I hope you guys enjoy it and like it. But um, before we end of this video, I would like to try and taste it. How delicious this is. Mm, it's so good guys, it's so perfect in this weather. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.